1865, two major cities uh, remained under Confederate control in the South, Richmond, Virginia, and Mobile, Alabama. Mobile was still, even after the Battle of Mobile Bay, was still an important place for the Confederates to defend and the Union to attack. And the reason why it was a, it's valuable, the reason why it was valuable is it was a logistical center with access to two major rail lines and uh, a vast river system. So that's why they wanted to take Mobile, uh, because the objective ultimately was Selma and Montgomery, but you needed Mobile and the access to those rail and river systems in order to garrison your uh, occupying forces in Selma where the munitions were, Montgomery area where the food stores were. Um, to do that, the federal government allocated to General Edward Canby a tremendous amount of resources, including over 45,000 troops, and he was supported by a naval fleet of over 36 armed vessels, including six ironclads, to take Mobile. Um, the 45,000 troops were divided into two columns. Over 32,000 marched out of uh, Fort Morgan and came by boat out of uh, Dolphin Island's Fort Gaines. And they marched up the eastern shore, going through present day Fairhope, Daphne, initially uh, a besieging Spanish Fort, and, uh, you know, from Pensacola's Barrancas, General Frederick Steele's column, which included uh, a, a part of the second division of the 13th Army Corps under General Andrews and the largest contingent or one of the largest contingents of U.S. color troops in the war. They marched out of Fort Barrancas through North Florida, uh, through present day cantonment, century, uh, skirmishing with General Clanton and General Armistead's Confederate cavalry. They cut the rail lines at Pollard, Alabama, and then moved across uh, near the state line uh, uh, to Canoe, Alabama. Weatherford's Plantation, down to Stockton, and around the 1st of April, they besieged this place, Fort Blakely. Fort Blakely uh, was on uh, April 9th, assaulted and captured, and this was a pivotal battle that led directly led to the uh, evacuation and surrender of Mobile, and eventually led to the, uh, the final surrender of the last intact, actual, uh, significant force east of the Mississippi River at Centronelle in early May 1865. Um, 